Hey guys and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. My name is Twitchy playing the role of Cal Kestis and we have just gone on a deep, deep dive into an ancient chasm. What was that up there? Is that a way to climb? I think it's not. I think it's just an effect that we see there. This chasm used to be, uh, th <coughs> this chasm was the holding area for an ancient Jedi's lab uh library temple i'm not sure exactly what was going on over here but i do know that we went through and got everything that's a bug that's a bug that really confused us last time but it was indeed a bug and so was this one over here so we are now traveling on we've got to make our way back to the mantis and go to the moon wait where is it the the, the moon that moon right there and try and find out where the person that we've found, Dagon Garala, has actually headed off to. Because we need to go to Tanalor. Tanalor being somewhere where we think we can be safe from the Empire. I personally don't think we're ever going to be... Oh, hello. Who are you? Safe from the Empire. That was kind of awkward. Are you literally shooting my... my, my um? Oh, hey, no, no, we're not having that. Thanks very much. Can't pull him any closer. Why didn't that work for doing them the damage? You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, something got us there. I'm not sure if that was particularly that bold. Have I not done any damage to them? I'm just hiding around the back here. Let's get this uh, get this sword, uh, not sword out, but get this gun play out if we can. Doesn't look like the guns are doing that much to them, to be fair. And if we just keep sending their bolts back... Oh, it turns out that's not the winner. Maybe we can get in close enough. Maybe that's a better way of... Do it. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Now that we're all explodey, I think I'm all right with it. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind. We're going to get in nice and close because it seems like the way to actually do the damage. Yeah, okay. It turns out, try to be defensive, not the way forward with bounty hunters. You've got to get in there and have it. Okay, scan this. I should be Another getting a little puck. puck. Thank you very much. You should show this to Cage. We're, we're going to show this to Cage. It's fine. It's fine. I was not expecting a little battle right there. I've got to be honest with you. Welcome back to the Untamed Downs. Uh, maybe we will go and have a look at that Cage. Uh, see if they have anything to say about these pucks. So I will see you back at the Pylun Salu. Oh, we've been given a screen just as we're getting close. Bounties available. Ask Hatch for tips for where to find a current bounty. Bring bounty pucks from for successful hunts back to catch for unique rewards. I mean, that that's my plan. I guess we're going to do that. I wanted to walk in the back door, but as you're here with me, I think we're going to go and use the front one. This guy always walking past here. Never really get a moment to talk to any of them, unfortunately. The front door is quite well defended. We'll see... If they're going to let us in nice and gently here. Of course, we've got this guy to just be like, Hey, yeah, I'm me. You know me. I'm I'm a cow. I'm, I'm allowed in here. Yo, greasy baby. How's it going? You, you good over here, buddy? Hey, kid. I got some bad news on our favorite Ordo Eris fanatic. Yeah? I already know Sork Tormos put a fresh bounty on my head. Yeah. You do? One of your regulars clued me in on his game. She's been keeping tabs on the Haxian brood, so this time we've got to jump on him. That guy would let things go by now. Nah, why, why would anyone that I had embarrassed in the past just let things go? It's getting busy in here. It's getting busy. But hey, Cash, how's it going? Let's talk. Here he is. Got your first target lined up. What's my first Looks target? Looks like some Hexian hack named Kip Oster has been slinking around Dredger Gorge. Dredger Gorge? This guy likes to catch his prey off guard, so watch your back. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Thank me when you turn in his bounty puck. Yeah, I think we will. Okay, so we've done that rumor. There's a shop here. Let's have a look and see what we can swap in. Oh, we've got the charge shop area attack. Oh, these are all gun attacks. Ricochet is a blaster shop, and this is also a stun shop. Then we've got, uh, we can slice B D, uh, B2 droid, so BD could take over the B2. That's the big guys with the uh, with the lasers on their wrist. Uh, we can slice the B1, and of course slice the probe droid. And then we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Grips and uh, barrels. Um, is, that, is it just grips, and, grips, barrels, and bodies? Okay. I think we need at least one more of these, but they're looking pretty good. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hold on to those for now. Now that we have been given an option, an option that I didn't think was going to be available to us, and one that I think I might try and take up. The option, of course, being to go bounty hunting. And yeah, yeah, I, th I think I will. I think I will indeed go bounty hunting rather than go to the moon. But at the top of this uh, this building here, the top of Pyloon Saloons. Pyloon, by the way, Grease's grandmother. What a what a great honor for her. 
If we come out to the garden, we should There's be able to hit this. There is expand. plenty of soil to expand. We've got to press down. Let's sow some new seeds. Okay, let, let's have a look at the different plants. Okay, can we... Seeds. Can I just go through... Okay, I'm sure we've got more than these, but uh, we'll, we'll do the, the yellow. We'll do a yellow. Get to grow. And then back here, we'll go... Ooh, the plants. Uh, uh, red. One, two. Okay, so that's the spine fluff. What else can we do here? Press X. No, no. Most of these are triggers. Here we go. This is, this is what I was looking for. Look at all these different plants that we've got here. They seem to take up a lot of room. The Nabu Green. I'll put this up in the back corner here if we That's can. That is indeed the spot. Um, That's not quite what I wanted because, of course, I want to put this other one, this rare plant here, at the back as well. Yeah, like that looks beautiful. Y changes the color. Okay, and X goes back to seeds. That's one. Oh, this is a big one. Maybe we want to put this over in the corner here. I feel like that's probably the best place for it. No other colors, so we'll just accept we that as that. Uh, cactus bell, also kind of large, but I think I want to put it... Let's select that and put it uh, here. We're, we're just going to spread things out if we can. Let's press the wrong button again, of course. Uh, there's a lot of controls here, and I would like... Large pot. Okay, let's see what we can do with these large plots here. It's got to go somewhere like Perfect. there. And I notice that if we press Y, we can get the rare one back there. Okay, beautiful. So we, we've, got, we've got a lot of these seeds going on. Uh, the Crimson Jelly Sport, once again, takes up a lot of root. What is... Do you see that just on the very right of my screen? There's a plant there that needs, uh, needs getting, and I think we will get that at some point. Okay, is that now all of my seeds? If we go this way, that is indeed all of my seeds. So I've planted everything. But what is this? I, I can't I can't break it. Why can't I break it? Uh, this, this look to me This looks like somewhere where I should be able to get some seeds. Let's try the double ender here Yeah, actually no, there we go. That's what I was looking pine yeah, fern seeds. is wonder if they'll grow in our garden. Is that new? Is that new pine fern down the bottom? Nabunian green. I'll take that. We've only got the one so I'll put it in this space to see that over here. All right, great That that's that's our seeds growing beautiful beautiful. So we were gonna go to the mantis, but uh, actually We've just been told back here, you, um, open path. I don't want the open path. I want rumor. Thanks very much. We're tracking that rumor. I, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go up that cliff face right over there. And I'll bring you back at Dredger Gulch, if I could say the words. Okay, we are back with the big boy over here. I think this should work out well for us. I believe that the bounty hunter is over that way somewhere. Uh, let's try and make our way all across here. We, of course, been here a few times. That's where we went and did... Oh, oh, this is sinking. Uh, a couple of jumping puzzles and stuff like that. Let's just make sure we're headed in the right direction. And still surrounded by red markers, not green. There are places we want to go check out at some point, but none of them can we actually get access to right now. Now, we can get some roller mines out of that area over there. There should indeed... Uh, this makes me mine. Thank you. Uh, there should indeed be a meditation point up here i'd really like to hit that meditation point before we go and deal with the bounty hunter because you know bounty hunters are generally a bit of a problem and i would like them not to be up in my face straight away okay we got three skill points i wonder if there's anywhere like uh, useful to spend them i would really like to as i've picked up this new blaster um format so oh quick draw hold L, B, and Y to focus and target multiple enemies at once with the blaster. Ooh, that sounds pretty si serious. Let's let's try that. Quick draw. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, hold block and then Y. And then, oh, so because I'm charging it up. Okay, I think I get that. <clears throat> I think I get it. If there's multiple people in me, press block, charge up my shot, and I will attack Multiples. I think that's what we're seeing there. Okay, I'm a little surprised they didn't didn't get jumped on by the bounty hunter whilst I was in the meditation point. We were told that he likes to catch people unawares, that, that they're a bit of an ambush predator, if you will. Uh, and I would like to. Ooh, I don't know about that. Let, let's uh, let's grab you and see if we can bring you anywhere with us. No. Nope. Is the answer there? No. Uh, I thought maybe we'd have a look and see if it was something that we could take advantage of. Uh, where? 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 There you are. Okay, hello. No, I'm just going to hit you a couple of times with my double blader here. I think that should be fun. Oh, 
were you supposed to get me unawares or am I supposed to get you unawares? What what are we what are we doing here? Because I'm fairly sure I just caught you unawares. You, you know what I'm saying? Bleed for the brood. Is that is that your your saying how you prove that you are good enough? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I missed missed the dodge. What is that? I'd kind of like to switch back to my um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Blaster. But I feel like that's totally not necessary. And all I'm doing is just jump and spin. Jump and spin. Seems to work out well for me right now. This one just, yeah, couldn't actually keep on top of me. Of me. I kept on top of it, and it was fine. Well, indeed, I'm going to get this back to cage. Are we just going to be hunting bounty hunters today? I think that might work for me. Okay, we just did this one. Haxian Brood Shock Commando. Unlike other commandos, you must break their block in order to deal damage. Watch out for the Shock Commando's counterattack, especially their Electro Shock Wave. Shock Commandos use their upgraded deployable shields capable of deflecting blaster fire. Not only to defend themselves, but to aggressively charge forwards and better their target batter their targets. The shield is also capable of delivering an overcharged burst of energy, which brings all but the strongest of foes to their knees. Well, it wasn't me. It didn't bring me to my knees. Okay, I'm going to go over this way, and uh, again... For the second time in this entire playthrough, look at that cloth over there. Uh, I'm going to be using the fast travel. Yes, it, it doesn't happen all that often. Look there, that was that was in the direction of the cloth. I wonder whether we're going to be using that at some point. At some point, no doubt. But let's uh, let's go to Pylun Saloon here. Uh, I would like to travel. Thank you very very much. And now we're going to have an excessively long load time. God, that was like 15 seconds. Would you believe it? Anyway, we've got three of these pucks and we've got... What is that number one? Let me let me just press that button. What What is this right here? Oh, it's the holo tactic scans. Okay, that's fine. Uh, things that I have noticed, if you look down at the very bottom of the screen, 33 out of 37. I've nearly done all of these holo tactic scans. That is cool. Uh, prior right... No, it's a little bit more um, missing. We, we've only done 25 out of 100. That's a quarter of them. That's pretty good. And we've only found 13 out of 60 data disks, though they call them sticks for some reason down the bottom there. And there's no music tracks to be got. We've got three out of 18 pucks. Okay, maybe that's a thing that we can do. We've got two out of the 12. Three out of the 12 aquarium fish. I've got to put these two in the fish, in the tank. Well, that's right. Maybe we'll go talk to Skeever, uh, Scoover Steve now. No. Stuva, Stuva Skeev? I, I don't remember. I can't remember how his name works. But we'll, we'll go upstairs. We'll talk to him. But I think the first thing we need to do... My door's locked. What? Why is my door... What? What? Grease, your technology is broken. I, we need we need to have a chat about that. Is there anything here or is that... Uh, that's also a shut door. I, I thought so because of the red. Uh, but that, that's the thing. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? Every, everyone's busy. Uh, how are you yeah. all doing? Good to see you, to see you too, Monk. Uh, I want to talk to Catch. Listen, now they were partners. Uh, partners? Partners. Uh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is, our relationship is an investment. Yeah. And we've got bigger fish to fry than these raider hacks. Have we? I'll get to those bounties. But if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. Aye, aye. You're going to get killed with that attitude, pal. But on a certain level... I can respect it. On a certain level. Okay, you got another one for me, though? Oh, no, not the shop. I want to talk to Catch. Give me. There's Mr. Popular. Uh-huh. A bounty hunting droid named Rez is stomping around the forest array. Forest array, Don't got you. Don't swearing up. Stay light on your feet. He'll dance around that rust bucket. Okay, so don't try and fight him face to face. Be be light, be nimble, be quick. Okay, I think, I think we can handle that. I need to get up these stairs, like, faster than we currently am. Uh, but there we go. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'll talk to you. Cow. Cow. Hey, Scuba. How's the water? Ah, I, I just wanted to thank you for lending me your tank. That's cool, man. Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. Let's keep them all spinning, eh? Eh? Yeah, I'm all about that. Can you tell me where the next one's going to be, though? No, it turns out not. we just got to find you around. Yo, Z. Hello, Cow. It's delightful to see you fully intact. And you. Holding up, okay? Thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. Did you just put your hand but through my once chest? More, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. As always. Appreciate the thoughts, see, but we should watch the whole noble knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. You're gonna get me in trouble, aren't you, Z? All right, let's uh, let's have a look at the shop. Yes. See what we got. Hidden ports. I mean, that perk slot. Ten. I've got thirteen. Let's do it. Bam. Yes, I want that extra perk slot. 
Thank you very much. And I've also just noticed that I earned greasy money with that. I've uh, traded in 25 items. And, and yes, I did indeed trade in 25. Look at look at those droid paints. That's they're pretty nice. I'd like to buy all of these. It's got but we've got we've got three. Let's see if there's nothing I can buy for three. And of course, most of these are ooh, tasty, tasty, uh, tasty perks to be had here. I Got to get the get the, the colourful metal. I, I think that's good. Thank you for the body paint. That's exactly what I want. Uh, what do you mean it's only for the droid? I wanted to paint cowl up. Okay. Uh, so how do we now put things in the tank? Um, state dirty. We can, we can go through the different cameras and see. Okay. Look, 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 okay. We've got the different types of fish there. Um, we've, we've got the big boy, big face nose boys. We've got the ones that are like um, all sleek and pointy. Um, we've been we've been told names, but I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Yo, Turgle. We've seen some stuff of yours. Wow, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I help by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? I did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen I've it. I've seen it and used it. You know what it. I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. Oh, mate. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't. So I'm glad you're around. Okay. You don't want to know about the shell that we found. We found an egg of his somewhere. Uh, it's not been big. Yo, Zig. You did? Hey, Zig. What's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd of pilots. Is it not? Okay. Well, I'm not going to play Hollow Tactics. We are just going to head off to the Forest Array. Fast travel to the Forest Array. And I believe the marker is somewhere over here. If we have a look at our map. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's in that place where we've got to fight the Morgu a lot. Okay, well, we, we, we've done that. We know how to get there. Look, there's the Morgu. I wonder whether we can get that guy involved in the fight. It would be cool. Yo, but I feel like we're going to be down in there fighting. Unless I'm going to about to get jumped. No, all right, that was a thing. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. I'm expecting a real bad guy at some point, and instead, we don't seem to be. Oh, look at him there. Look at him there. What am I supposed? Well, I'm told to keep nimble on my feet. So let's get going. We found Raz. I want to bring this guy uh, involved. And now I just run away, right? Whoa, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. Okay, are they both going to... Yes, okay. This is good. This is why I, I wanted to see a bit of a fight first. Uh, and then whoever wins, we will take them down. I've got a feeling it's going to be Raz, but you never know. The Morgu might very well win. If we keep our focus on the Morgu, this guy, we can keep both of their health bars visible at the same time uh, and then we'll know what's going to go down I, i've got a feeling actually is, is the mogu going to win here is that is that actually going to be the thing that goes down this is going to be a very easy fight that wh whatever happens at the end here whatever way we've got for winning oh, wait like if i if i um block uh, now now's probably not the time but i wanted to do that multi-blast shot that we've just learned right we block we hold this down one is it only one? Are we not getting a second? Uh, it turns out one. Okay, that, that's unfortunate. Go and hide quick. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? You as well. Let's let's try this again. One. Pow. He charged at me a good one, but I think I should be able to... Oh, look. Watch this. Pow. Oh, I thought it was going to just die from being shot. Okay, we did it. We did it. Wow. What what a fight. Oh, that was tough. It wasn't tough. I to worry about. That is one less tale to worry about. Let's check out the... Oh, no, it's the pucks. It doesn't tell me exactly uh, who that was. Okay, that's good. Skill point, though. That's good. Exchange these um, for reward and valor. That's what we want. A Haxian Brood Bounty Droid. If we have a look at this. Burly and heavy built. It's forceful attacks will affect even the toughest defenses. I mean, kind of. Uh, evade and ch evade charge attacks to expose opportunities for back attacks. So that's what I should have done. One arm of the Haxian Brood's underworld activity is the trade of illegal droid parts. Some of these parts, rather than being sold on are funneled into the construction of droids with as much zeal for the brood as any organic heavily built and programmed to be overconfident they will often taunt their enemies even as the blaster bolts fly okay well we did it we did it yay okay back 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 to the pylon saloon 
I wonder whether this is going to allow me to do all of the bounties in one go. I, I kind of hope so. I kind of hope so. One thing that I have noticed, if we come into the skill tree, it'll open the lightsaber. We've got one more skill point. Come over to the blaster and we can get the improved clip. Look how close I am to finishing this whole little section here. That would be great. I just need three more skill points to get this energized, energizing, sorry, flurry. Hold down bro uh, block and charge up an attack to perform a sequence of quick swings that rapidly replenish the ammunition if they uh, if they connect. Okay, that, that's one to look forward to. Hopefully we can get three more skill points whilst working around here. Is that just a work table in front of us? I think it's just a work table in front of us. All right, don't 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 worry about that. We're going to go back and get ourselves uh, another bounty. Killer beats every time I walk in. Good work, DDCE, something like that. Quick about it, eh? I, I'm always quick about things. I didn't actually want to talk to the shop, though. I want to talk to Cadge if You're I can. Back. I am. Welcome. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, I suppose. No, no more? No more? Go on now. I'm busy. No, oh, is that it? No more you ever leave this booth? bounties at all? Thinking about it would hold your breath, though. That's cool. All right, well, that that's all the bounties I'm allowed to do for now. Very, very sad. It's very sad. I think I'll browse a little. Okay, well, as we've got four, I was tempted to get some of these, like, super shots and stuff at the top. But I think I think we want to completely redo our blaster because, you know, there's an achievement for having everything modified. And I seem to be on the achievement run. So I'm going to get this this uh, this barrel at the top showdown. Uh, do we go for the showdown body or do we go for the K3 Vindicator body? I think we're going to go for the Vindicator body. Thank you. And then we've got the Model 13 or the RSKF. Um... I think we're gonna go. I mean, RSKF, obviously. Yeah, but thank you very one. much. Good luck with that. Thanks. Uh, let's. I do. I do have many places to be. I'm just. I'm kind of a little bit upset that honestly, you don't have any more bounties for me. Okay, let's see what else we can do around here. I've just realized at some point in the future, we are definitely going to be have to, having to hit a walkthrough and find all of the priorite, right? I, I bet there's a priorite shard somewhere down in this dodgy little back area down here, but uh, I don't know whether I'm up for finding it because there, this is a lot of area and most of the things I can't go through, but there is stuff like this now. Oh, I don't know. We'll, co we'll come back when there's more to do, I am sure. Okay, one person I definitely want to have a chat with before we go anywhere is, of course, Toa. This place is starting to fill up, Cal. Guess the word is out. Guess so. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Uh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like the start of something historic. Uh, it's just somewhere what for people to come get drunk, centuries though. Centuries from now, there's a city here. Even Aldera was just a lumber colony once. Once upon a time. better start investing in urban planning. True. Turgle told me he named a road after his foot. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't let Turgle be in some charge of naming time, stuff. Okay, I was kind of expecting you to be like, hey, go check this place out. There's some decent ruins, but it turns out so not. So how did you end up on the wrong side of the law? Yeah, Moran, tell after us. After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Really legitimate. Sounds boring. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. Yeah. And you helped them out for a price. Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. It's true. Whatever you say, Maria. But you were taking advantage of people that are being ensnared in the corrupt system. Uh, is that you great? No, just that. Okay, all right. We 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 gonna we gonna move around and have a look. I don't think these guys are gonna have any more to say. So how'd you become a music producer? I was born on Riosa in the inner rim. Yep, I've heard of it. Lots of heavy industry. Great noises. Yeah, you couldn't escape the factories, so I used to make little tunes out of the noise from them in my head. You started early then. And never stop. Hey, what else you There's got? There's more music to find out there, Cal. Okay, yeah, no, we will go find more. I think this is just changing the music. The selection. Yeah, we, we, we don't need to change any of these. We've heard these before. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Tulak? There's a lot of prospectors around here. Have you ever tried your hand at mining prior, right? No. Once. I found it enlightening. Some prospectors invited me to join them on an expedition. Cool. We descended to the mines. But when my back was turned, they fled. Oh, that's not very nice. They ditched you? 
yes. Alone, I calmly walked through the darkness, trusting my intuition. I found another exit. And the prospectors? Dead. Goraco attack. Oh, so if insane. If I had chased them, I would have perished too. Let this be a lesson. Always go your own way. Strong lesson. Strong so lesson. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. What smoke? I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. Okay, laters, laters. All right. Well, I guess given that we are so far through an ep, have you got something to say? Private table. Oh, all right then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. I wonder what happened yeah, in the past. I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. Uh huh. What Don't opportunities help. you know about? Speedy. Noisy little thing. Yeah, I'm BD. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? A couple Once of times. Twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf. Yeah, gang turf. Rock. Sure, it ain't that bad. Well, the hell, I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <sighs> Come on, BD. I mean, we should have let them know, right? Gronk's a tradesman and me uh, mechanic who partners with Dana to seek out the treasures of Kobo. Great idea. Let's talk to Gronk. Gronk. No? Okay. All right. Talk to Dana. So how'd you two meet anyway? I'll start it with this Merc crew I joined. Gronk had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. Of course. I'm going to read this quick. Uh, uh, savvy grifter, Dana is always looking to strike it big on a frontier with her partner, Gronk. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Lover. Mm, Hut Anyways, Lover. things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. Oh, so never. We... we took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or in prison. What the cock, Brock? I was telling it. The kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh -uh. Point is, Brock and I realized that we're better off just the two of us. I think Grok is the better you know, storyteller. Yeah, I definitely feel like Grok is the better story. Go on, Diana, what more? Later, yeah? yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do that later. Hey, Grease, going back up top. I guess now that we've been walking around the saloon for some time, we've gone and collected some bounties and we have uh, checked on our fish. I guess, I guess Hollow Tactics is the way it's forward. Game of Hollow Always Tactics. down for a game of Hollow Tactics. We've unlocked some new units. Oh, look, we've got that um, slats, a whole bunch of stuff from um, from Jeddah, indeed. Uh, so we've unlocked Cadge. We haven't beat Scuva. T is still there. We've got an undiscovered and an undiscovered. I don't know who these people are, but we'll we'll try it. All right, Cash, let's let's do it. Not today. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe we can. What's the what the battle points? Twenty eight. I mean, we we've got to put one of these down, right? A Scryton. Uh, okay. Well, do we just just see what happens? I, I want to just see what happens. We can put down a better eight points what at some point. But I feel like this guy is probably going to go through and wipe out a lot of units. Uh, as long as he takes on the right one at the right time, uh, that should be good. Okay, we've got, we've got most of the big units taken down. If he could just go, bam, yeah, for that. We can't even see. Oh, we can. I can move the camera. Uh, as long as he takes that one out. I think we're good now. I think we're good. And bam. As my unit toast. Oh. One more unit and it would have been good. That was an underpowered unit as well, so uh, that's, that's pretty. Nice try, but why should I? Yeah, indeed. Why should you? Uh, I think we're gonna try that again. Well, we're gonna try that again, but we're gonna actually use our point allowance this time. I'm gonna go for you know we we've got ourselves the Scryton. It seemed to do well, and now if we move, I mean, do we want the Bedlam Raiders? Let's let's have some ranged attack Bedlam Raiders here. We got we got many points. Got many points. Oh, we could put put the hybrid down. I bet it'll absolutely wipe the floor. I bet if we did twenty eight, seven, uh, th three, four, four of these, I bet we could. Bet we could really wipe the floor but we're just gonna go for one i'm even gonna put it behind my scryton so that they attack the big guy first right that, that that's the one we want to do bam and let, let's see what we, we've got we've got loads of stuff being taken down yeah that my b my bx droid definitely doing the winner here ow I, we just took a, a a rocket to the face though bam that is a score for cow we're doing well doing well 
one point one point carried over that, that that's pretty pretty good if we if we can do that more often 19 oh i'm only allowed 18 points right uh, let's put the mogu down because we know that they're pretty strong uh, and then i've got three points left uh do we just go straight for the b1 droid or oh, i don't know it's tough we could put down some shock commanders that that shield is somewhat worrying to me the hard shells are not worth the points trust me on that one i guess we're gonna go for the stormtroop commander behind the mogu it's it's the only thing that works let's start the fight and let's go three two one let's hollow tactics uh okay so hopefully the mogu will just why is that big creature back there just out of interest i don't think i've ever seen it before uh and i am i am definitely done for here oh, what is that guy who are you and what have you done I don't know who I don't know who that I robot is. Nice try, okay, let's try swarm attacks now. Do you do you think well, swarms are the way not, forwards? But not, today. Uh, not today. I mean, we've got, as we say, a whole bunch twenty eight points. Uh, do I? <laughs> I just want to. I just want to play with them all. You know. Uh, I said something about se seven of these guys. I I, I want to see how they do like that uh, sorry four of those guys seven seven points are uh, pop okay four bx droids let's see what happens the fact that they're all grouping up over there is really not the winner okay no we did it we did it look they want to i thought they wiped me out there i thought i was the one to to be in trouble i'm gonna try that move uh, again uh, I feel like it's good. We've got 18 points this time. So one there, one there. And then four points up front. I'm almost tempted just to go one, two, two, three, four. I don't know how this is going to go down. Let's see what's going down. I, I still don't know what that big... Uh, big brute of a unit at the back there is that is indeed a hollow kill i'm surprised the second one didn't happen almost instantly okay what, what is going on with the shield guy has been dealt with i'm hoping my bx can get the better of them now that we're at the back just fire your gun okay he fired his gun Woo wee! Is it Thule? Is it really? I feel like that was a bit of a struggle there, but we'll try that again. 25 points. <laughs> no, not the STST. Uh, let's go 25. I feel like we can get away with a Mogu. I feel like a Mogu is um, punching above its weight. The the Garaku, I don't, I wasn't really impressed with, but we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, and then we got nine more points to spend somewhere. Uh, three threes are indeed nine. I mean. We could put down a rocket launcher. I feel like this is a good person to put in the background here. And then we've got three more points. Uh, I'd like to take from the Bedlam Raiders three melee droids, you say. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three. And then they've got to, like, spread some time out, right? Let, let's fight. Let's hollow tactics. Go, go, go. So hopefully the Mogu's going to take them out pretty quickly. A little bit worried that my, um, my rocket launcher is taking all my people down too quickly. Um, bam, and then, bam, oh, that, that was not a good third round. I am, yes, it's true. Ooh, sass, sass. Okay, one more, one more go, maybe, one more go. Um, we already know the form that will win these, right? We already know. Like, uh, for instance, we let's try the Mogu rather than the Scryton this time. Let's put you down, and then what, what, what do we have? We had a couple of uh, BXs backing him up here. One, two. Let's... Oh, no, okay, just the one. Uh, that, that's fine. I'm, su I'm sure that's fine. A roller mine. A roller mine, you say. Okay, let's, let's try that. Three, two, one. I'm just playing with... Uh, extra put skill uh oh no that was bad i was about to say he's rolling up and he's going to do the thing no i'm just playing with different tactics is what i actually wanted to say there uh everything's looking good so far the bx droid definitely doing the business but i'm worried about that explosive uh took me down to oh okay now Okay, now we're going to see if my memory can actually serve me. We're going to put down the Scryton like that. And then eight points is... I mean, this BX Battle Droid is only me melee. We could put you down, and that's the seven points. And this, this is what we did last time, right? This Not last time, but the time before that I actually won. I think this is the winner. Three, two, one. Maybe the tactics will change, and I won't actually be able to do what I want. <laughs> oh, tactics have changed. How? How, how did you... Did I get lucky the first time? Maybe I just got lucky the first time. 
Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna split them up. I'm gonna split them up. Okay, I've split them up. We've got the Scryton on the right, the back Battle Droid on the left, and I'm hoping that the rocket launchers only look at the uh, yeah the Scryton. That's much better. Tactics winning here. Uh, literally only took one point of damage from that Battle Droid, though we are not putting it out, putting the damage out ourselves. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll, we'll remember that because no doubt I'm gonna have to come back and do this fight again. Okay, so what are we going to do for the second fight? I kind of wanted to do the Scryton again, but obviously we cannot. Uh, for the 19 points, I think we uh, we figured out that the uh, BX droids... Oh, no, that wasn't that wasn't how we did it. It was the... Let's try the Bedlam Smasher. Uh, we've not tried him before. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty good. And then we've got five points left. Uh, what can we get out for decent five points. It's kind of hard because I want to put someone with uh, some blaster range in there but uh, I think these stormtroopers are the only ones. We could put a flamethrower dude down. Let's try that in the corner. I don't know whether that's going to work out for us but we'll see. Two, one. Let's hollow tactics. Hopefully the flamethrower are really going to actually be doing a lot of damage here. Okay, well, no, not not for that one. I don't know who's going to get to... Don't taunt them, just hit them! Uh, I don't know who's actually going to end up winning here. Hopefully my Bedlam Smasher has got the advantage over this guy. That uh, seems to be getting a little bit stunlocked. Oh, Okay, we're good, we're good. The Bedlam Smasher actually doing a lot of good work there. Do we try the Bedlam Smasher again? He seemed to have a little bit of a skill behind him, so I think we might try that. That's you right up front. 25 points. Well, now 11. Uh, it's not a lot to spend, but I think we're good. Uh, we could put the Super Tan Alpha down. Let's try you over there. And then to... As a as a counterpoint, we'll put a one point melee droid over here. Okay, brilliant. What could go wrong? Three, two, one. Final battle. Let's do it if we can. Hopefully, the Bedlam Smasher is just going to absolutely come in and destroy everything here. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, we've got. I thought that their droids were being taken down fairly easily there. Wow, okay, I didn't even see everything that was going on around me, but that was amazing. I'd probably go back and watch that one again, because there was two separate fights going on in the middle and on the left-hand side. Whew, what did we get for our reward? It's a bounty puck! Beautiful! That gives us something else to go spend. It's not great. It's not rigged. It's not rigged. Uh, that gives us an extra point to go and spend down at uh, Kaj's okay, shop yeah, here. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're definitely going to the moon this time. I'm, I'm not even going to look around. I thought maybe we'd have a good episode doing some bounty hunting, but we ran out of bounties to go hunt. Uh, so I will see you then Oh, when we're going to do that. Bye.